Find the value of the line integral along the curve C of x squared plus y squared plus z ds, where C is parameterized by r of t, and t is on the closed interval from zero to two. Notice the line integral is given with respect to arc length given by ds. We want to evaluate with respect to t, so what we'll do is write the given function x squared plus y squared plus z as a function of t, and then ds is equal to the magnitude of r prime of t dt, which is expanded here on the right. To begin, looking at r of t, we know x of t equals two cosine three t, y of t equals two sine three t, and z of t equals t. Let's also find the derivatives. x prime of t equals the derivative of two cosine three t with respect to t, which requires a chain rule. The derivative is equal to two times negative sine three t times three, or negative six sine three t. Y prime of t equals the derivative of two sine three t, which is two cosine three t times three, or six cosine three t. And z prime of t equals the derivative of t with respect to t, which is one. The given line integral with respect to s is equal to the integral with respect to t from zero to two of, we now write x squared plus y squared plus z as a function of t by performing substitutions for x, y, and z. If x equals two cosine three t, x squared equals four cosine squared three t, plus if y is equal to two sine three t, y squared is equal to four sine squared three t, plus z, which is equal to t, and then we have times the square root of the sum of the squares of x prime of t, y prime of t, z prime of t, and then times dt. If x prime of t is negative six sine three t, the square of x prime of t is equal to positive 36 sine squared three t, plus if y prime of t equals six cosine three t, the square of y prime of t equals 36 cosine squared three t, plus if y prime of t is equal to one, the square of y prime of t is equal to one squared, or one, giving us plus one times dt. Now this looks messy, but a lot is gonna simplify. Let's focus on this sum and this sum. For the first sum, let's factor out four, which gives us four times the quantity cosine squared three t plus sine squared three t. And we should recognize that cosine squared three t plus sine squared three t equals one. Similarly, for the sum here on the right, if we factor out 36, we have 36 times the quantity sine squared three t plus cosine squared three t and again, sine squared three t plus cosine squared three t simplifies to one. Simplifying, we have the integral from zero to two of four times one plus t, or four plus t, and then times the square root of 36 times one plus one, which is equal to 37 dt. Let's go ahead and factor out the square root of 37. And now we integrate with respect to t, where the antiderivative is four t plus t squared divided by two, or plus one half t squared. And now we determine big F of two minus big F of zero. When t is two, we have four times two plus one half times the square of two. And when t is zero, we have zero. Simplifying, we have the square root of 37 times eight plus half of four, which is two. The exact value is 10 times the square root of 37. 
I hope you found this helpful.